They are coming in. Closing in on the starts. And they're off. Three miles and six and a half furlongs for the Coral Welsh Grand National running memory of Kim Gingell. The first fence is taken three times, the others twice apiece. The two amigos, Christmas in April, amongst the early front runners, all 18 of them safely over the first. Cloudy Glen declining the early exchanges is dropped in last of all as the two amigos, Yala Enki and Christmas in April, lead them past the judge with two full circuits to go. Trucker's Lodge on the outside of Prime Venture settled prominently. Captain Drake is on the heel to the leaders. Joe Farrell on the inside is also handy as they head into the first turn. Those are followed around it by Lord de Maynil and Springfield Fox. Secret Reprieve is just better than midfield as they begin to meet the rising ground on their way between the first two fences. Dominator, Ramses de Taille, the Hollow Ginge and Big River follow. Then it's Bobo Mac racing in company with Vieux Leon Rouge and Calypso Colange. And Cloudy Glen is the back marker as the two amigos and Yala Enki lead them off to race down the back straight on the first circuit. Truckers Lodge, Springfield Fox out wide, Christmas in April, and Captain Drake round out the leading half dozen. Prime Venture is next as they clear fence number two, where Joe Farrell was a shade slow. Cloudy Glen, the last to clear it. Fence number three is the first of the open ditches. The two amigos rose just in front of Yala Enki. There was a slight mistake from Captain Drake as they head on towards the next down the back. The two amigos and Yala Enki taking it three lengths up on Trucker's Lodge Christmas in April as they head on towards the next on the far side, which is fence number five. The two amigos and Yala Enki land together three lengths up on truckers large christmas is in, in april is racing in fourth place then follows springfield fox lord de Manil and prime venture are in behind those as they jump the sixth the front two in the air together the hollow gins jumped it in the mid division cloudy glen remains last of all the field is getting fairly well strung out as the two amigos and yala enki as one jump fence number seven they're four lengths up on Truckers Lodge with Christmas in April racing in fourth in advance of Prime Venture. They're being followed by Springfield Fox racing markedly wider than the others. Next in the field is Captain Drake from Lord du Menil and then follows uh, Secret Reprieve who's racing in advance of the Hollow Ginge. Joe Farrell is behind those as the two amigos under Matt Griffiths and Yala Enki and Bryony Frost continue to take the field along in the Welsh Grand National. Truckers Lodge closing in in third, only a length away, then Springfield Fox, Christmas in April, followed into the home straight on the first circuit by Prime Venture, then Lord de Menil, Captain Drake, Secret Reprieve, is racing in advance of Ramses de Taille, the Hollow Ginge, then Joe Farrell, Vieux Leon Rouge, and Bobo Mac from Big River, Dominateur and Calypso Colange are in rear, and Cloudy Glen continues to bring up the rear. At the open ditch in the home straight, fence number nine, Yalarenki on the outside. Uh, Joe Farrell made a bad mistake back in the field. Yalarenki, the outside of the two amigos as they come on towards fence number 10. They've opened up again, three lengths back to Truckers Lodge, who will jump the 10th fence in third in front of Christmas in April and Captain Dre. Cloudy Glen continues to be held on to in the rear as the leaders come to jump fence number 11. The two amigos rose in front of Yalarenki now on the inside. Truckers Lodge next. Bobo Mack made a mistake at the 11th fence and now the leaders come to the jump that will be the last in the circuit's time. The two amigos and Yalarenki over it together by a couple of lengths from Truckers Lodge, Captain Drake and on their inside Christmas in April 5th in the Coral Welsh Grand National Field with a circuit to go. Springfield Fox and Prime Venture are the next two. Then follows the Hollow Ginge. 
secret reprieve. Lord de Menil from Joe Farrell, Vieux Leon Rouge, Ramses de Taille, then follows Bobo Mac, Big River, and Calypso Colange are racing in the final quartet. And Cloudy Glenn has relegated Dominateur to be the back marker as the leaders swing left handed to go up the hill into the back straight. They're through halfway, and it's still the two Amigos and Yala Enki one and two. Captain Drake and Truckers Lodge are racing third and fourth. Christmas in April is fifth, Prime Venture in sixth, Springfield Fox is seventh, but now being ridden along. Then follows Lord de Menil from the Hollow Ginger and Secret Reprieve, Ramses de Taille, Joe Farrell's behind those. Then it's Vieux Leon Rouge from Bobo Mac and Big River, Calypso Colange, Cloudy Glen, Dominic. Last as the field rise at fence number 13. The two amigos was the leader. The hollow ginger's gone there. Blundered, gave the rider no chance, interfered with one or two. Coming over the ditch in the back straight. The two amigos, Yala Enki, Truckers Lodge, are followed by Captain Drake and then Secret Reprieve making progress behind Stable May Prime Venture. Christmas in April remains handy on the inside. Springfield Fox is clinging on to the leaders but being ridden along out wide as they come to jump fence number 16. It will be the two amigos who rose in front from Yala Enki, Captain Drake in third, Prime Venture is racing in fourth, then Truckers Lodge, then Secret Reprieve. Christmas in April now being pushed along. Springfield Fox struggling to hold his position as they jump the penultimate fence over in the back straight. Lord of Manil is beginning to close in on the leading group and so too is a patiently ridden Bobo Mac and then Vieux Leon Rouge over the last in the back straight. It was fence number 18. The two amigos landed in front of Yala Enki. They raced in the first two throughout. Prime Venture with a noseband and Captain Drake are third and fourth. Truckers Lodge on their outside and Secret Reprieve round out the leading half dozen. Then follows the grey Bobo Mac on the inside of Lord Dumainil. Christmas in April is sending out distress signals. They're halfway around the top turn as the leaders approach the entrance to the home straight in the Coral Welsh National. They've got five more to jump. The two amigos has made virtually all of the running to this point. Yala Enki, Captain Drake, Truckers Lodge, Secret Reprieve moving up to join the leading group. They're being followed into the straight by Prime Venture, Bobo Mac, Lord de Menil, Cloudy Glen is beginning to make headway over the fifth from home. The two amigos from Secret Reprieve has gone second, only a length behind. Captain Drake is third, Truckers Lodge hard at work in fourth, then Bobo Mac and Yalarenki as they jump the final open ditch in the Welsh National it was the two amigos taken on by Secret Reprieve who's come there full of running back in third is Captain Drake then Yalarenki and Bobo Mac as they jump three out, Secret Reprieve has taken up the running in the Welsh National from long time leader the two amigos Yalarenki is running third Captain Drake is fourth, Secret reprieve by a length and a half over the second last. The two amigos switching to Chirinu is challenge on the outside. Yalarenki and Captain Drake and Bobo Mac follow. Secret reprieve jumped the last in the Welsh National. He's more than two lengths clear. Yalarenki's trying to close on the two amigos into the final hundred yards. It's secret reprieve with a three length advantage. Secret reprieve for Evan Williams. The Ruckers and Adam Wedge wins the Welsh National. The two amigos he goes Yalarinki third again, Captain Drake followed in by Prime Venture, and then came Bobo Mac. Wow, goodness me, the hot favourite has won, but look at his tack. His girth has come undone, and the only thing keeping the saddle on is the over Sir single. And I just hope that he put. Can you see him pull up, Jim? Yeah, he's yeah, pulled, he's up, pulled yeah. up. Fine. Goodness me, that is a precarious situation to be in. So he's won the Welsh National, but in the most dramatic of fashion because I think the girth is undone at this point and he's jumping fences. Wow, Jim, that was quite some feat. Yeah, I mean, Evan Williams has had no luck this afternoon um, and nearly a horrible accident. Fortunately, it didn't turn out that way with one of his horses. It'd be, it would be the biggest kick in the proverbials if anything happened here because this horse has been given a beautifully delivered by Adam Wedge. He looked to snip in the handicap and he's won like it. Look at that. It's incredible, isn't it? His balance must be exceptional 
sensational, the fact that they've managed to jump with that girth having come undone. And the fact he's got such a light weight will have helped him because there's no weight cloth, I would imagine, to slide off or, or to come off because that could have happened with the girth having come undone like that. And I, I presume the fact that a breast girth on has helped a bit as well. And the fact he's got a big broad chest. Yes. But it hasn't slipped.